Hello you guys, how are you? This time we're going to read Girls Furniture Bought and Sold by Sandra Cisneros. The House on Mango Street, the novel from which this selection is excerpted, The House on Mango Street, is no ordinary novel. It is made up of 44 related vignettes, short literary sketches, narrated by Esperanza Cordero, a young girl coming of age in Chicago Barrio. Her family recently moved to a new house on Mango Street, but Esperanza longs for a house of her own where she will have the privacy she so desires. Here comes the big question. What makes something priceless? I gave you some possible answers. Because you feel love for it? Because it's unique and special? Because it brings memories to you? Because it helps you? Because it makes you feel good? Perhaps you have heard the painting or antique described as priceless. In many cases, this means that the item is worth so much money that the amount can be guessed at. But sometimes an object is priceless because it is worth more than money to the person who owns it. The anecdote you are about to read is short account of a priceless object turning up in an unexpected place. Can only material things be priceless? Can a special friendship be priceless? Why or why not? Think about it. Text analysis, symbol. When you see an American flag, you probably think of more than the fabric it's made of and its pattern of stars and stripes. The flag represents something much bigger, the United States of America. When a person, place or thing stands for something beyond itself, it is called a symbol. For example, a sunrise can symbolize a new beginning. A person turning into a bird and flying away may symbolize freedom, joy. A dungeon with thick walls and bars in the windows symbolize confinement, despair. The technique of using symbols in writing is called symbolism. When a writer often relies on symbolism in his or her works, Symbolism can be considered a defining element of the writer's style. It is, for example, a defining element of Sandra Cisneros' style. To recognize and interpret the symbol Cisneros uses in Girls' Furniture Bought and Sold, ask yourself these questions. What object appears repeatedly or is described more fully than other objects? How do the characters react to this object? What big ideas does the story address? And how might this object relate to them? Reading skill, make inferences. Skilled readers know they must read between the lines to make logical guesses about what a writer means but does not say directly. The process is called making inferences and it can help you to understand the characters in a story. Follow these steps to make an inference. Gather details or evidence from the story. Consider your own experience and knowledge. Form an opinion based on both. For example, a man is standing in front of a restaurant. He paces back and forth and keeps glancing at his watch. From what I see and from my experiences, I can infer that he is impatient and annoyed. The clues I use to make this inference are he paces back and forth and keeps glancing at his watch. In this short vignette from Sandra Cisneros' critically acclaimed The House on Mango Street, the narrator and her sister Nanny visit a junk shop. While there, Nanny discovers a music box. Nanny asks the shop owner how much it cost. His reply, not for sale. Read Girls Furniture Bought and Sold to see why a junk store is a special place. Check the vocabulary. So, are you ready to read? For homework, symbol worksheet. Answer the questions in the chart to show how an important object is used as a symbol. Make inferences worksheet. Use the chart to make inferences about the three characters. Collage. Think about the description of the junk store and the various items for sale there. Then make a collage of items you would expect to find in the store. You can cut pictures from magazines and newspapers, include your own sketches, or do it by computer and copy paste the images. Make a collage of at least 20 images. 
write two paragraphs explaining why do you think the owner of the junk shop considers the music box to be priceless? Support your answer with details from the anecdote. All right, have fun.